I'm Andrew Porter from East Coast Yacht Sales. Welcome aboard Resolute 2009 MJM 34Z. Resolute is hull number 63 of the 64 hulls built and she is a gem. I'm gonna take you on a video tour and I hope you enjoy what you see. Here's a ground view of Resolute, the MJM 34Z. She's tucked into heated winter storage here in Connecticut and she's getting her annual maintenance. Top sides are polished, bottom is painted. She shows very nicely. Let's see. All of the care taken throughout the winter. Here you can see the pl swim platform and Resolute is equipped with Weaver dinghy pivot points so you can flip the dinghy up uh, and stand it up against the transom for when you're underway. Resolute also has Edson davits with these receivers. The davits are removable so you can hang a larger dinghy off the transom. Here we are at the transom. You can see the stern thruster, the trim tabs here. The propeller is tucked up into a tunnel to protect it and to reduce draft. Here's a look at Doug Zern's hull. Uh, relatively consistent V carried all the way aft, ending in the prop tunnel. Nice powerful chine here. And you can see what this boat will do by this powerful hull shines forward and a nice deep V entry all the way up front. And here you've got the bow thruster a few feet back from the bow. Starting at the bow, we have a solid stainless steel bow rail with welded legs, really nice quality stainless steel work. And the remote controlled spotlight all the way up forward functional and very eye-catching. Single anchor roller with a electric mirror windlass with up and down foot switches. And here we are walking back along Resolute side deck. Antennas up top. Simrad radar. You'll notice sunscreens are in place on the aft windows, providing a little bit of privacy and protection from the heat and the light. Stepping into the cockpit, look at the quality and the upkeep on the varnished transom seat, just beautiful. This is a spacious cockpit for entertaining, hanging out, swimming. There is a transom door on the starboard corner here, and this section of, of the transom seat is removable for easy, coming, easy boarding from the dinghy or for swimming. In just a matter of seconds, I popped out the starboard seat extension, gives you access to the transom door. And now you've got easy boarding for getting on and off the dinghy, for swimming or on a dock. There's also two large lazarettes deep for all of your storage of lines, fenders, covers. Soft enclosure of the bridge deck with bug screens. And of course, the side soft enclosure opens up to provide ventilation. Seating port and starboard. 
a drop leaf table on center. Side-by-side -side stid helm seats for the driver and the companion facing forward so the companion can be part of the action. Resolute is the second to last or the next to last MJM34Z that was built at Boston Boatworks. So some of these features uh, appeared in the later model runs and the drawers are one of those. Nice chart table here. Owner's manual and all of the ship's papers. Resolute has the forward opening windows for better ventilation. Both port and starboard windows open. And here we are at the helm with the updated Simrad plotter and the Yanmar control throttle, bow and stern thruster controls, autopilot, trim tabs, the remote light. Resolute even has a compass. You don't see those on every boat these days. Look at the beautiful care that's been taken on the upkeep of all of this. Just wonderful. Stepping down the two steps, we have a really functional galley to port with a single burner induction stove, microwave, stainless steel sink with a removable cutting board top, plenty of storage for a cruise, and look at this fridge. You've got the opening top, but again, because she's a later model, the next to the last ever built, she also has the side opening drawer, which means you don't have to clear the countertop if you're just looking for something quick out of the fridge. Across from the galley to starboard, you've got the head, vacuum flush toilet, single bowl stainless steel sink, an opening port for ventilation. And you'll notice on the door, custom louvers were added to provide ventilation in that head. The MJM34 has this wonderful functional settee that converts into a big bed, king size at least. And currently she's set up in the bed, storage under all of these seats, port, forward, and starboard. There's also some storage behind the forward seat. And then you've also got access getting to the anchor locker all the way forward. Neat and tidy. There's the Murr windlass and a nice sizable anchor locker. Here's a look at the entertainment center, Toshiba flat screen. And this cabinet opens up to provide some nice storage, bottle storage, and access to your entertainment equipment. Here's the interior converted to the settee configuration. The table has been removed just to show the space. A little additional storage underneath. And you've also got these drawers, lots of space for personal gear. And you've got shelving, port and starboard. Really functional setup in the settee configuration and a quick con conversion to a big double bed. There's incredible engine access with the bridge jack lifted on an electric actuator and it gives you access to the Yanmar 440 horsepower engine. This is the 6LY3 series. Top and all sides are accessible. 
You'll also notice that there's day-to-day -day access through the cockpit seats, get you down into the side for nice side access for oil checks and day-to-day -day stuff. Here's your day-to-day -day access to the engine. This is the starboard side settee, the large opening hatch, gets you into uh, some storage. Um, there's some custom bags here for, for storage of some items. And then really down here though, you're into starboard side engine access, batteries, some other mechanical equipment down in this cockpit uh, or um, settee lazarette. The Northern Lights Gen Set is located just under the bridge deck in an easy to open hatch, really good access to the top, and you can get around for all the service needs on the Gen Set. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough tour of Resolute, the MJM34Z. If you have any questions about the boat, please reach out to me by email or phone. My information is below this video.